Hello you lovely people, welcome back to my channel and we're going to be jumping back onto the Ambernec RG35XXSP, this baby right here and what a wonderful little handheld this is guys. Now if you haven't seen my unboxing video of this machine just go to my library to the unboxing section and you can view that. But what we're going to do in this video guys is we're going to jump onto something that, uh, yeah, it's been a bit of a nightmare in the past on other systems. Uh, it's Pico, guys. Pico, whatever we want to call it. It's one where you used to have to have the license to be able to run the games in the first place. And most of the time you get the app, if you like, or the emulator, but you still got to buy the actual thing to be able to play them. Well, on here, guys, you get it and you get the load of games with it as well. Yeah, a ton of games that you can actually play. So what we're going to do in this video, guys, is jump back on this gorgeous Game Boy looking, uh, Nintendo SP looking, fantastic handheld from Ambernick. We're going to jump back on and we're just going to play some Pico games on it. And I'll tell you what, guys, if you love your retro style games, you can't get any better than Pico. They are fantastic. Bloody games and like i said guys you get a load of them on here yeah uh, also got to mention guys that there is going to be another video coming very soon of this baby again because i put all the nintendo games on there that were missing and were supposed to be included but of course as i've now found out for definite nintendo had a bit of a hump over it all and ambernick have had to remove all the nintendo roms off the sd card that comes with it so yeah, they were missing, they are now back on, and uh, yeah, and they play wonderful guys. But this is one fantastic machine, and let me show you one fantastic platform guys, Pico, as we take a look at just a few, a handful if you like, a smidgen of the fantastic games for that platform. Right, let's get on with it shall we? Right, here we go guys, we're now on the menu, and of course it looks beautiful on the big screen here. A little bit washed out again because of the viewfinder, as usual in my videos, the viewfinder always bloody buggers up the colours. And yeah, we're going to go into Pico now. Here we go guys, with all the different games, there is a ton of games on here. Uh, 39 in fact, as you can see at the top there, so it's total 39. So yeah, the first one up there, guys, as you can see, is Breakout Hero, which is a very nice, straightforward take on Breakout. So let's go into that one first and take a look at it, shall we? Brave music. Right, here we go. There you go, see? It is a very, very straightforward breakout clone here. I tell you what, the colours are absolutely popping on here over the uh, big screen, and they're also absolutely superb and popping over the uh, actual system screen as well. Oh, look, I died. That's because you're talking and playing at the same time doesn't always go together, does it? But yeah, it is just a very cool and simple breakout. You go slow motion, wicked, so you've got all the, the usual uh, suspects for power-ups here. And de-power-ups, of course, when it makes you bloody paddle short and all that. But in general, it is a fantastic, fantastic game. Obviously, everything on Pico is, uh, yeah, very, very basic. But very cool. Sort of like 8-bit gems, that's for sure. Oh, nice one. We had a sticky one there. Cool. What are we going to get this time? Oh, nice big paddle. 
That is brilliant. It's exactly what we want right now. Cool. Oh, just absolutely superb game. Let's see if we can get these last few now. There we go. Nearly there, guys. Nearly there. Come on, you bugger. Come on. Here we go. Hopefully this will do it now. Come on, we need to get at least one more. Yes, got it. Wicked. Any more? No. Okay. Well, at least it's stage clear. So, yeah, that is that one, guys. Let's hit the uh, little end button, and that will take us back to the menu, and I'll choose another game. Right, guys, the next one I wanted to show you is Cherry Bomb. And I'll tell you what, this is a fantastic, uh, oh, just shooting game, guys. It is like, obviously, Space Invaders. That's what it's like. And uh, it just has some absolutely brilliant little elements to it, as you will see. Now, here we go. Again, fantastic music. Right, here we go. As he gets into place, there we are. This is where it turns into like Space Invaders, of course, like I said. Watch out for the bombs that are coming down, collect the cherries as you can. Of course. Absolutely brilliant game, this brilliant shooter. Superb. Oh, I hit that bloody bomb. There we go. Got rid of the first wave. Now we're on to wave two. Good. It's a bit like uh, Gallagher as well, where you've got the ones from shooting down. So it's not just like Space Invaders. It's a uh, uh, mix of Gallagher and Space Invaders. Oh dear, I died. Let's give that one more go, though, because that's too cool. Here we go, guys. Another round. Get them cherries, that's the most important bit. Oh, damn it. There you got me. Ooh, got me again. We can get those two. Yay! Right, here we go again. Wave two. How cool is this? Again, that basic art style, but how brilliant is it? Oh, I didn't get that cherry then. Damn it. Oh, they got me again. At least I got a better score that time. Right, okay. Shall we uh, move on to another one then? I think so. Well, next, guys, we've got Demon Castle. This is a very interesting one. Again, brilliant style that it uses here, like all of the Pico. Uh, Pico. Uh, games do, just a fantastic retro style. We've got no start music there, but we've got music for the level, so that's cool. You can see, guys, it's very much like Castlevania. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, very similar to Castlevania. Plays beautifully again. The music's cool. The uh, graphics are just so reminiscent of the 8-bit days and early. So we're beating. Come on, you bugger! Let's beat you. Oh, he got me instead, bugger! All right, here we go again. Then try again. Oh, that's better. We can probably get him now. I can keep doing that. Yeah, we got him. Cool. Nice one. Let's move on. Here we go. To the next bit, is it? Oh, I went the wrong way. I should have gone down the steps, I think. It would have been cool. Oh, there we go. We got another one. Yeah. Got to get away from them. They're just going to keep coming otherwise. Oh, and again, they got me. Oh, you bugger. Yeah, they just keep on coming, guys, they do. Buggers. Can we go that way? No, down here. 
Wicked. Come on, you sword. There we go. So fantastic music, still, and just looks bloody stunning. Oh, and I died, but that's a good time to move on to the next one. Right, next guys, we've got Desert Drift, which is uh, very, very similar to uh, Outrun, really. Right, let's have a go of it, shall we? So you guys, very basic version of Outrun in a lot of ways. Without that brilliant Outrun music, man. But it's quite a competent little uh, racer, it's quite cool. And it's 8-bit glory again, of course. Yeah, you've even got these tunnels and things, which is cool. This must have been really pushing the uh, limits for the... Uh, for the software guys, it really must have been because it looks absolutely stunning for what it is, doesn't it? Oh dear, retry. So it didn't do very well there, guys. Right, okay, so let's retry again. Right, here we go. There we go, wicked. Let's see how far I get this time. The more you hit things of course, the slower you're going to get and that happens. As I was hitting the sides there in the tunnel. I'm not going to get very far again guys, <laughs> I'm going to run out of time. That's all right, guys. Well, that was another fantastic one. Let's move on. The next, guys, is Polar Panic. Let's see what this one is. Right, obviously, it is, uh, yeah, Polar Bears, isn't it? That's for sure. Right, okay, here we go. All right, so you're running along. Ah, and then he's trying to Oh, I went straight in the water. Oh, dear. Now, that's rubbish, because Polar Bears can swim, can't they? But, oh, well. Here we go again. Looks like quite a fun game, though. So yeah, you jump along. It's a bit like Frogger, but in reverse, almost. So I'm doing any better this time. Oh, have you heard that music? <laughs> Greatest love of all, Whitney Houston. That's just hilarious. Ah, I'm gonna die. Ah, died again, guys. Died again. Right. Hey, we went to 25 seconds, wow. Right, here we go, let's try again. Oh, there sure is. Oh look, chicken now. Doing a bit better this time. Right, that was interesting. Right, let's move on. Right up next, guys. I thought we'd take a look at Pico Racer. So yeah, another another racer, but it's the actual Pico Racer, which is um yeah quite a cool one. A bit unusual with the car and everything, but it's, uh, yeah, not bad. Here we go, let's have a look. You can see, guys, very interesting style here, and you collect the flags and oh. all of it. Oh, there is some competition, yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe, maybe you, like, have to try not to bump into them. Yeah, I should think. And you have to collect the flags. <laughs> Mm. 
to be a very interesting art style. Looks pretty bloody good. Considering it is a basic game. Oh, game over. Let's try again. Yeah, let's see if I can get to the end this time. Wow, crash. <laughs> oh, your bugger went straight into him then, almost like I did it on purpose. Yeah. Get off. Drunk driving Uh, you I like the noises when you like part, uh, when you pass someone. Yeah, you see that big football then. Yeah, is that, is that a football? Uh, <laughs> funny. So, what, Get out of my way, you sword. There you are. Come on, go away. Oh. Oh well, at least you got to see it. That was quite a cool one. Yeah, once you get used to that controls on that one, I think it's going to be absolutely blinding. Right, now what we're going to do guys is I'll set it back up on the old table and I'll give you my final thoughts. What did you think of them guys? Aren't they wonderful? And to finally be able to play them just like that. Uh, yeah, straight out the box guys. This fantastic device, as I say, the Ambernic RG35XXSP can play them out the box and they are wonderful. There is a lot of other systems that um, be very surprising to you that are on here and they'll be covered in future videos because this machine deserves multiple bloody videos. It's that good. Wonderful, wonderful machine. Like I said, in the original video guys, the unboxing video, the reason it's called SP at the end is because it's like a Nintendo Game Boy Advance SP of course. But with some added bonuses, <laughs> that's for flipping sure. Like a fantastic screen in it, and so on. Wonderful, wonderful thing that it is. So yeah, do you like Pico games, guys? Have you played them in the past? Do you have the license? And uh, yeah, do you think they belong in a system like this? I certainly freaking do. And if those games were anything to go by, I'm sure you're going to agree as well. This is a fabulous, fabulous console. From Ambernic, once again, guys, the kings of emulation. They are just wonderful. And this is no exception to the rule. It's another one of their absolute gems of a retro handheld. A emulation treasure, that is for sure. But it's over to the comments section, guys, as usual. I enjoy reading your comments. Let me know. Have you got one of these babies? Have you got Pico running on it? Do you ever play them? And have you played the actual real thing in the past as well? Oh, what a wonderful, wonderful platform, as I say, guys. Not a system, but a platform where you can develop games for. So, yeah, again, one of those, guys. One of those platforms where ordinary bods like ourselves can just go over there, use their tools and make games for it. So, yeah. Wicked. And there you go, guys. <laughs> With that, I'm going to say the usuals. If you're not subbed already, please drop me a sub. Give me a bummy thumbs up if you feel that way inclined. Of course, tap the bell icon on the all icon to get any future notifications whatsoever. And again, guys, if you love emulation and retro consoles, I've got a fantastic group for you on Facebook. It's the Retro Emulation and Consoles Fan Group. And with over 5,000 members, guys, you can't go wrong. There's a ton of people to banter with. Tons of content from system unboxing, system reviews, emulation performance, tech help videos, and a whole lot more. So if you love all that, it is linked below. Head over, we'd love to see you. And then I also have my UK Crack Gaming Facebook group as well, where we cover everything gaming, from the dawn of gaming right the way through to PS5 and everything that came in between. And again, tons of content there, because other YouTubers put their videos up there every single day, including myself, of course. So yeah, if you just love video games from all the different periods in time, that is the place to be. Then finally, guys, I have my channel membership. For as little as 99 pence a month, you can become a member of the UK Crowd family. This will give you access to the members-only videos. It will also get you a badge next to your name in the comments, which change the colour every month and lets everybody know that you are indeed a member of the UK Crowd family. 
So again, guys, if you love, 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 love to get your hands on those members only videos and so on, there is many tiers with many perks. So yeah, just find that join button, head over and see what you think. And with that, I'm going to say a bit of zen, tschüss and goodbye. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye bye. Streets are empty